times are changing and you know people's demands are changing True. uh people want to see stuff that is more real yeah. whether it's characters or films uh you can't bullshit the audience <laughs> i know you know what i mean yeah now your script is your hero there are so many comments that uh come in you know oh my god why are you not married uh you know you're growing old get married hi i'm shamita shetty and you're watching me on peepingmoon.com Hello everyone welcome to peepingmoon.com I am Rashita Sahani and today joining me for a super interesting conversation is Shamita Shetty who's all set to impress us all with her acting skills and screen presence in the tenant Hi Shamita how have hi, you been Hi hi thank you so much for such a <laughs> wonderful introduction Because uh, you know we have been waiting to like sort of watch you in a full fledged feature film it's finally happening yes. and uh, I'm sure it looks like a very interesting story not something Firstly I uh, Uh, I'm not from Bombay, so I know how it is to live on a live in a society on rent, and how people sort of pass those comments and all of that. So it was kind of relatable. But of course, as someone uh, who's sort of making like a return to films, how did you select this one? It looks interesting, but what interested you the most? Um, well, I mean, uh, everything about this film caught my interest. The yeah. the narrative, yeah, uh, my character. Uh, everything actually um i mean this film came to me at a time when i was actually meeting a lot of casting agents telling mm. them that listen i'm interested in doing work you know yeah. please uh consider me uh give me work um and of course i i wish i i was given more options um to choose from but unfortunately that many offers were not coming in but luckily for me one casting agent uh got back with this character uh and i absolutely loved it yeah and uh it's it's such a sensitive subject also it's it's actually it's very real yeah. you know right from the characters to the story it's it's something that you can actually relate to like you started mm. off with telling me you can relate to it um it focuses on a lot of issues that exist in our society today you know um right from patriarchy to lack of privacy sexism that a lot of women single women are uh, out there face and um even today it is so difficult for a woman a single woman no matter how successful she is for her to find an apartment even in a place like mumbai yeah you know it's sad uh, exactly and this constant judgment that we are subjected to after a certain age uh, a single woman is not called single anymore yeah. she's called unmarried. unmarried yeah uh and of course if she's unmarried after a certain age uh she is the wrong choice she is the bad influence hmm. you know to have around um which is not very nice and it's it's something that has existed in our society for a very very long time hmm. you know uh we just don't uh, want to acknowledge it as much but i think it's high time we time we do, we do. Yeah. and you know make a change i'm sure also there is this dialogue that caught my attention and the trailer was uh, your, one of your neighbors saying akele matlab shaadi shuda nahi hai kya <laughs> which was uh, really funny because even today no matter what you achieve no matter exactly. where you go exactly. you pass a certain age first it was 25 now it's 30 it just keeps changing exactly. but it's still there exactly. how how do you deal with all of that even in your real life it's actually sometimes when i i go through my social media and i i i read my comments um there are so many comments that uh are coming you know oh my god why are you not married uh you know you're growing old get married uh you know what i mean it it's almost like i i i was born just to get married get it, yeah uh i mean that's not the ultimate thing for a woman to achieve you know she wants so many more things in her life for me what's most important is to be happy yeah to be at peace with whatever it is i'm doing hmm. uh wherever i am for me that is my first priority you know the rest of it just falls into place at the right time yeah but um, for a woman to not be married after a certain age is like oh my god you know what's wrong with her hmm. 
oh gosh that attitude really needs to change <laughs> i know um but getting into the skin of your character for the tenant it's very important to look like you are not playing the part but you are that character yes. uh, even though i haven't watched the film but the trailer sort of gives that across through the screen uh what was was there like a prep what did you follow what was your routine like mira is actually very me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. i didn't have to do that much in terms of prep work but mm -hmm. um i mean of course we did a workshop and yeah. all of that a week 10 days before um and the director is very very good so shoot the gen and he's from la uh his sensibilities are uh very very good he's handled this um uh, subject very mm -hmm. well uh, and i must say i mean of course i would have loved to have done a lot more work in 20 years or 22 years of yeah. being here uh but with whatever little work i have done um he is definitely one of the best i have worked with um he knows he every every artist has their forte yeah and uh for them to kind of discover it and be able to tap into it and you know bring it out you sometimes need the help of a good director got it and he's one of those you know he gave me the freedom to do uh to portray mm. her the way i wanted to mira the way i wanted yeah. to but at the same time he he tweaked whatever little he felt needed to be done like sometimes he would do two takes you know one my way one his yeah. way uh and then he would make me understand things uh you know beautifully uh so it was just such a wonderful experience for me as an artist um uh, i mean for me honestly being in front of the camera performing is 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 a high yeah. it's something i'm passionate about i wish i had the opportunity to do more of it um i'm just so grateful that this came my way and you know i i i did it <laughs> amazing um what also is very interesting and uh, sort of we are proud of it in indian cinema today is that actresses coming forward and taking a film completely on their shoulders now it's also sad that we still have to talk about it i feel gender no bar whoever it's it's an actor but i also feel if we talk more about it maybe more filmmakers more producers here and we get more such content like you said meera a strong uh, you know woman who's finding her stand in the society no matter how many judgments are passed how how do you was there like a certain moment of pride when you or uh, went through the script or headlined the movie it's it's owned by you it's on your shoulders oh, i never thought about it <laughs> <laughs> that way but uh see i think cinema in general is is really changing yeah. because obviously i mean times are changing and you know people's demands are changing True. uh people want to see stuff that is more real yeah. whether it's characters or films uh you can't bullshit the audience <laughs> <laughs> I know you know what I mean yeah now your script is your hero correct uh and now with OTT there there is there are so many films and so many new web series you know coming out uh it it's it's giving more opportunities for mm. actors to do uh you know more work good yeah. work and people are actually experimenting with with the characters even for for women mm -hmm. which I think is is amazing it's it's a great time to be a part of the industry. Yeah, <laughs> I am sure. I would just say that. But do you feel after Big Boss people or filmmakers or casting directors have started taking you more seriously because uh, I think that was a moment when everyone wanted to see more of Shamita Shetty like <coughs> after you were out of the house the show was over everyone wanted to see you on screen now and uh, you know maybe some piece of work because everyone loved you when you were inside the house. Uh was there like a change after the show happened honestly uh big boss for me was it was more for for people to or rather for me to make people uh see who i was as a person yeah. you know and i spent a very long time in that house i think on for 6 months yeah. uh and i'm so happy that people could finally connect with me um uh, but in terms of work uh in terms of i mean bollywood uh things didn't really change that much uh heaven knows why but uh, 
I still do my bit of you know calling up the ones that I really respect mm. and look up to and you know really want to work with and telling them listen I'm here you know yeah <laughs> I'll come and I'll audition for you yeah um you know don't don't assume I can't do do that particular yeah. part because I look a certain way I think we're actors we're meant I to know. you know be able to portray different characters okay. how can you just look at a person and say are ye nahi kar payegi uh-huh. you know till she's not given a chance yeah so uh, i still do that but i mean nothing nothing has really changed and i really hope that after this film people you know can understand uh, or realize that i can act as well mm. i it's not just about looking glamorous or mm. oh i can dance so i i you know i can't act yeah i can do both you know correct correct uh, i can do glam i can do the glam too <laughs> <laughs> so and this this film there's no makeup yeah so um I hope I get some good work after this. Amazing. I'm I'm confident enough this I, film. I hope was... I don't have to wait for another 2 years before yeah. my next release. You know what I mean? I'm so yeah. fed up otherwise I it's know. such long long gaps. Uh, I know. But uh, we would also what want is uh, now the OTT space is like at an all time high right now and uh, I see a lot of actors do some great work because content in OTT <coughs> is yes, next level. Yes. Uh, would you also want to explore that space? Of course. Yeah. Of course, I would want to. Um, I did two OTT shows. I did yeah. one for Boot. I did one yeah. for my last one was uh, Black Widows on Z5. Z5, yeah. Um, actually, to be very honest, this is an OTT film, hmm. but. Um, we are hoping that this goes to a good ott after it releases in the theaters okay. guys by the way it's releasing on the 10th <laughs> of this month 10th of feb please go to the theaters and watch this film you will like it yeah. i'm sure but uh, what's also happening is uh, you know there is this thing that's going on with the box office and all of that now are uh, not a lot of films like right now pathan came and it just broke all records but uh, before pathan not a lot of films were doing yes. g- good they were tanking yes. also a part of it was people were hoping the film will anyway come to an ott platform and we will just yeah, watch it there this is like a common <laughs> thing i keep hearing from yes, people yeah. so what what are your expectations from the tenant well like i said for starters this is an ott film hmm. you know i'm i'm hoping that a good ott picks it up yeah and this film gets uh, the audience or respect that it deserves because I, and i'm not just saying it because i'm in it to yeah. be honest you know um i have watched the film and the way uh the the way sushrut has directed this film and every character however small hmm. their character they've portrayed it so well so real from the heart so um I really hope that you know people make an effort and really go watch this film because I know once they get into the theater mm-hmm. uh and start I know they will not leave they'll not come yeah. out disappointed to be I honest to, yes. and not a lot of people <laughs> fit into that genre I don't know why not a lot of actresses do but I'm hoping to watch more of you but thank you so much for joining thank you so much it was lovely talking to you same here <laughs>